Hello and welcome everyone, I am Ducky O'Brien and today I'll be going over a game called Defend the Rook. Defend the Rook was developed by 1UP Plus. It was published by Goblins Publishing and it was released onto the Switch and PC on October 26, 2021 with an MSRP of $17.99. As always, the exact release date, pricing, and platforms may vary from region to region and platform to platform. Alright, why don't we get into it? This is pretty much a turn-based strategy game. It's pretty neat. I'm gonna start off uh, on one of my save files that I have already. I didn't get too far into it. So, before you begin, you can uh, level up your hero pieces, your towers, your contraptions, and then your spells if i'm remembering this correctly um i'm gonna play a game first before i level it up what is this why are the mushroom can leaving the cabins and raising arms that my son spreads all across these runs i can sense its caring is better than anyone else disgusting Notice the way they respond to us. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so here, this is the board. You get enemy pieces. And then you got you have three heroes and you have the rook. The goal of the game is to defend the rook, as the title says. Uh, you have a couple of spells. You have traps and you have towers. So let's see here. This is kind of like a shotgun tower. It will attack in a, in a cross pattern. Close range only. Then you have an arcade tower, which attacks at medium range. And then you have a cannon tower, which attacks at long range, but does less damage. Okay. Uh, they do have health. So if you look at the characters here, they have an armor stat right there, uh, a health stat, and then their attack damage. Uh, the ones with the bone arrow show they are ranged. If you hover over a unit, you can see how far they can move and attack. Uh, so you also have contraptions and traps. So for example, this is a trap where it will replace a tile and then it will damage people with the step over it so I can just put it here they will go for your towers so you just want to protect them you also have a freeze trap uh, this one you can place anywhere this one you have to place on a block tile so these rocks kind of limits your placement um, you can just place it Can I place it under here? I can't. We'll save this one. And then you have this, which is basically, um, it taunts your enemies, so they'll come attack the barrel. So it's a way to kind of prevent them from ganging up on one unit. And then you have this one, which will give your hero temporary move, so they can move further. Farther. And then they ha there's a static storm zone, which says, 10 damage to all enemies and as you level up and go further in you get more spells and more contraptions and uh, more things so i wonder if we just get started here doing that i'm gonna The rook can attack as well, but it, it's kind of weak. Okay. So after each wave, you get to choose one hero upgrade. Gains one temporary power for every two armor they have. That sounds really good. Hmm, blast wave. This, this sounds good. 
Okay, so it shows you the spawns of the enemies, and then you can reposition your enemies. I mean, your units if you would like. I'm gonna move them closer. They're probably gonna be a lot stronger, so I'm a little scared. I'm gonna put a barrel here. Okay. Yeah. Someone only has six health. Uh, okay, I'm gonna use the move spell. See, he attacked the barrel because it has taunt. Okay. Ooh, minus armor. Nope. When a rogue moves over a trap, rearm it. Yo, that actually sounds pretty good. Okay. I'm gonna move them closer to the center so I can reposition a little bit better. Okay. The only issue is like you don't know what's spawning where, so. So should have kill him. So if you look, he has 14 damage, but I think he has a passive buff where... Uh, can I click on this and then... Yeah, let's see. There's one really good one, yes. Swallow Cut. After you attack, if the enemy has less health than 3 times your armor, they are destroyed. I have 8 armor right now, so if I attack someone... And they have less than 24 health. They just sort of die. Yes, yeah. yes, it just chilled there for a little bit. This guy needs some help. <laughs> This is uh, not the best. 40 health. Oh, jeez, Louise. Alright, let's see. That's 60. Gee okay. I think I'm gonna have to use this spell. Okay, yeah, he's gonna die if he attacks him. is in the attack range of this guy. He can't escape. Um,
Um. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, he's gonna die. Okay. Drop. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh yeah, he's dead. The swallow cut. What a great, what a great move. I really like the soldier, dude. Oh man. Uh, yeah. I wish he lived so I can get some upgrades, but we'll arrive him. She has a move where if she kills someone, then she does damage to the surrounding dude. Oh yeah, like this guy. Oh yeah, I have a tower skill where they, if they attack the sorceress, the tower attacks him. Which is pretty handy. Okay, let's see. Can't kill. He can't move there. <laughs> Darn it! All right. Oh, jeez, it's getting harder and harder. That's what she said. <laughs> It's probably gonna be like a super powerful boss unit. Two hundred for a mushroom. Oh, so if you notice that zero damage, it means it's probably spawns like units. Oh, it missed. What the heck? What? How do I even attack this? Oh guys, this is really annoying. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
ground children at the soil takers be one with their soil shoot oh man this is wait wait should die now yes Increased damage radius by one. Yo, that's really good. <laughs> Wait, she can move to any free town on the board? Oh man, that's really good too. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this one. Magistar, who cannot be so foolish as to support the Golden Queen in a conquest. How is she controlling you? My rook, my heroes, my power used to butcher. Okay, so if you notice, you get gold and experience points. So now I'm gonna level up and shop. So if you look here, you have a tree, uh, you can pick one of two skills or talents or whatever you want to call it. And it uses this many experience points. So I have it up here. Uh, they're pretty good. When an attack, the attacker takes three damage or plus three armor. This seems more valuable. Okay, what about, ooh, for a hundred. Increased damage radius by one, that would be huge. Plus six temporary power if you're alone. Yeah, that's how I'm using. Plus turn range or for each adjacent hero plus three. See, like for shared power, I don't think it's as useful because I usually keep these sorcerers in the back line. But there is like a, a skill where she does more damage if she's next to someone. So I usually keep one person next to her if possible. All right, I'm out of points now. I can't level up anything else. So here we have the devices. And if you look, these basic ones increase health by one, but then after a certain amount, you can upgrade to like a perk. So this one, if the cannon tower is destroyed, gain additional trap to place. This one is for the medium tower. When your sorceress is attacked in range of the arcane tower, the arcane tower attacks the target. So that's what happened last time. This is like the shotgun tower. Once per battle, if a hero will take lethal damage, prevent it and destroy the emerald tower that's pretty good too but you know you don't want to lose this <laughs> I you know I would rather have the tower maybe sometimes get the barrel you know got the rook um, let's see how much gold do we have and we got enough for each turn the cannon temporary doesn't sh oh, cannon tower shoot doesn't shoot gain plus three temporary power to its deck oh that's that's pretty good Tower is plus two armor, your rook gains plus two move, tower gains plus one damage. Barricade gain, <laughs> yeah, this one's funny. The barrel can move. Oh, okay, plus three damage from other sources. Okay. I mean, gaining health is good. Oh, we ran out of gold already. Okay. And that's it. I'm gonna call it there. That should give you guys an idea of what the game is like. It's pretty enjoyable. It's basically a mini turn-based strategy game with a lot of, like, roguelite elements to it. You know, um, you can mix and match those perks, abilities, kind of, you're given kind of like a, you're given kind of a deck of cards and you're making the best hand you possibly can out of it. 
All right, I'm going to call it there. The game is Defend the Rook, developed by 1UP Plus, published by Goblins Publishing. Found now on the PC. It should be on the Switch as well. Uh, I didn't check. Because <laughs> the game, out, game came out yesterday. Also, I am running on no sleep. All right, it's going to be it. The price is $17.99. Hopefully that gave you guys an idea of the game is like and hopefully you enjoyed what you saw. If you have any questions, comments, things you'd like to see or for me to cover, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, hope you guys are staying safe and sane out there. And I will catch you guys next time. Those mushrooms were a fun guy. <laughs> Alright, catch you guys later.